What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our 2022 predictions. The Miami Hurricanes are up next. Here are some of the predictions for Miami coming into 2022. The FBI has them at 8.5 and 3.8. And that, of course, would include a potential conference championship game. Uh, not giving them great odds to make it. I guess they're about a 30% chance, according to the FBI. Uh, I feel like Miami is the clear favorite in the Coastal Division. I'd be surprised if anyone else won that division. Uh, Athlon has them at 9-3. and three. They do have them going to the ACC Championship and then losing uh, in, I think, to Clemson, but 9-3, and three, pretty good year. And then the over-under is at 8.5, so 8 or 9 wins. That seems to be what, it, what it's looking like for Miami based off of all these predictions. My thoughts on this team, I'm actually really high on Miami. I think they're going to have a special season this year. I think they're going to su surprise some people. Uh, some people may think I'm, I'm pretty crazy for what I'm about to do in these predictions, uh, but I'll show you what I think. And so when you look at this Miami team, one of the things, one of the big things that I think uh, is is one of the reasons why I'm so high on this team is you. if you go back to last year in 2021, this was one of the more experienced teams as far as returning production from 2020 in the country. They had a lot of guys coming back. Usually when that happens, you have a lot of production coming back. You maybe have a special year and then all that experience is gone. Well, it didn't pan out that way last year. They didn't have a great year, of course. But you look ahead to 2022, and all that experience, it isn't gone. They bring a lot back again. So this is two straight years that Miami brings a ton of production back. They also use the transfer portal very well. They just had a pretty nice recruiting class. It, it kind of all is coming together, at least with the roster for Miami. And then it comes down to the coaches. Do I think Mario Cristobal is the best coach in the country? No. Do I think he's an on-the-field top 10 coach? No. I'm not that high on him in that way, but he is a great recruiter. But it's the staff. It's the staff around him. This is one of the best, I think, coaching staffs in the country. And if all the players buy in and everything, you know, it's there. The ingredients are there, I'm telling you, for Miami to have a special season. It may not go that way. Uh, you know, they, they may, it just may not go that way because that's how it happens sometimes. But there really are no question marks when you look at the roster, every position. They're not Alabama good at every position, but they're in pretty good shape at every position. And I think they just kind of have been missing that quarterback. Tyler Van Dyke is that guy. We saw it in, in the second half of last season. He has a chance to be special. He has a chance to be one of the best quarterbacks in the country. If he doesn't hit that sophomore slump, I think Miami is going to have a big year. So let's get right to the predictions. This is the schedule. They'll start off with Bethune, Cookman, and Southern Miss. I think we all know uh, those should be easy wins. I think they start off 2-0. and And then a big game against Texas A&M on the road, week three. Cannot wait for this one. Some people think, well, Texas A&M, look at how talented they are. Look at the recruiting class they just brought in. They're playing at home. This is going to be a blowout. I disagree. I think Miami has a real shot in this game. When I look at the two teams, uh, I think Miami matches up really well. Texas A&M, they... They're really going to rely on a lot of young players this year. They lost a lot of production from last season. Who's going to be their quarterback? Do they have a guy? Is Max Johnson that guy? He hasn't really proven a whole lot to me. I think Tyler Van Dyke has proven more than him. Uh, so I look at, at this Texas A&M team, and I think they might struggle a little bit early in the year. Very, very young team, playing a lot of freshmen. It was a great recruiting class, and it could lead to something big for Texas A&M, but when we're talking about right away in 2022, and especially early in the season, uh, I don't think they're going to be that great, just being honest. Now, it's a very tough place to play, and that's why it's hard to pick Miami in this game, but I'm going to do it. I think the experience for this Miami team, the talent they have, the coaching staff, they're going to find a way to get it done and pull off a huge upset. I don't think many people are picking this, but I am picking Miami to upset Texas A&M on the road and then also beat Middle Tennessee. So I've got this team starting off 4-0. and And again, I'm, I'm really I'm curious to see what the comments are going to be on this one. I, I want to know, you know, how many of you agree with that? Do you think that they actually are going to beat Texas A&M? Or do you think I'm out of my mind? Would love to know your thoughts specifically on that game. But we move on to North Carolina. North Carolina also had a pretty good recruiting class. But they don't have a ton of production coming back. A little bit inexperienced. 
Uh, I don't see Miami having too much trouble with this game at home. It won't be a blowout, but I think it'll be a game where Miami wins by a couple of scores. And I think they, start, they move on to 5-0. and oh. This is a tricky game here. Virginia Tech on the road. We know that is a tough place to play. New coaching staff there. Sometimes you, there's a lot of mystery in that. You know What exactly are you going to get from those teams? By week five, Miami, or week six, Miami should know what they're going to get. Um, and actually, this this would be their sixth game of the season, but it's actually maybe week seven because they get a bye week between Middle Tennessee and North Carolina. That's a terrible spot for a bye week. I think you'd much rather have it maybe before this Virginia Tech game or before Florida State, something like that. Not in between Middle Tennessee and North Carolina, but um, – it is what it is for Miami, and they'll play this game again on the road at Virginia Tech. Tough place to play. I think this will be a scare for Miami. I think Virginia Tech uh, will keep this game close, but I think Miami's experience will come through once again. They find a way to get it done on the road. Close game, a game that everybody's watching thinking, oh boy, we're about to see an upset, but Miami finds a way to get it done late. They beat Virginia Tech. Then they'll play Duke after that. Uh, Duke shouldn't be very good this year, to be honest. I mean, you look at the roster, it's just I don't see Duke being a competitive team in the ACC. I think this is a complete blowout. Miami improves to 7-0. and you got to go up against that Virginia offense next on the road. Uh, Virginia will score points in this game. It'll probably be a shootout. Um, and it's, it's one Miami has got to be careful on because you've got Florida State the next week. You don't want to look ahead to that game. So I think just like Virginia Tech on the road, I think Virginia will be a close, hard-fought game. But I think Miami comes through. They beat Virginia, moving on to 8-0. and Florida State next rivalry, of course. This one's going to be good. I think Florida State is going to be good enough to where this game should be a very close game. Miami is playing at home. That will help them out a little bit. And, uh, again, I just think Miami is the better team. They have a better coaching staff, more talent on the roster. Because of the rivalry, I think it's very close. But I do think Miami will beat Florida State. And I've got them improving to nine and oh, Georgia Tech coming up next with a big. Or this is your perfect, perfect spot for a trap game. Right after a rivalry game against Florida State, you've got a huge game against Clemson the next week, who you know might be undefeated or have one loss at that point. So you're talking about game day at, at that game, one of the games of the year if you can get past Georgia Tech. And so this is the perfect spot for a trap game, in my opinion. I mean, it just is. And Georgia Tech. I don't know if they have enough to pull off an upset, but it's one you got to keep an eye on. I think it will be a, a pretty close game. Miami will, will have a scare here, but I just, again, I think they're too good compared to Georgia Tech. They'll win it. It'll be close. So I'm looking at those games Virginia Tech, Virginia, and Georgia Tech, all three on the road. If Miami's going to trip up, I think it's one of those three games. And if they do trip up, that's going to really mess up what could have been potentially a great season assuming they do get past texas a&m clemson coming up next on november 19th this one is going to be a huge game i think i have clemson with one loss at this point um but you know so this is a top five matchup more than likely an undefeated miami team going in there should be just a great great game and perhaps the first of two meetings between these two teams Clemson's a tough place to play and i know they would have already gone through texas a&m already gone through you know on the road at virginia tech Another tough environment here, but Clemson, I think, can match Miami talent-wise. or They're probably a little bit more talented. Uh, the quarterback position will be a big question mark for Clemson, but if they get that figured out, this is going to be one of the top teams in the country. Playing on the road, I don't think Miami will be able to get this one. I think Clemson wins this one. They give Miami just their first loss of the season, and then they'll finish up with Pittsburgh. Last game of the year should be a good one. Pitt will be a good team this year. Home field advantage for Miami. It'll be enough. Tyler Van Dyke will make some plays. They'll beat Pitt in a close game. And I've got this team going 11-1. Of course, that would put them in the ACC championship and more than likely playing Clemson. So, again, when you look at this schedule, this is a risky pick because Texas A&M on the road, Virginia Tech on the road, Virginia on the road, a trap game against Georgia Tech, a good Pittsburgh team, a rivalry game against Florida State. There are a lot of games that they could lose, and I could see them going 9-3 or maybe even 8-4. But I just have this gut. I just have a gut feeling about Miami this year. I think they're going to be that team that uh, kind of rises up into the top five, a team that hasn't been there recently. And I've got them going 11 and one with that only loss coming on the road at Clemson.